The success of the sales process, no matter how long or short, depends on many small things that make up the big picture. The organizational part of the process is what really makes it solid, though. Your team can't be truly efficient unless it's organized. Otherwise, slip-ups will just keep on happening. Things like missed deadlines or follow-ups, important information not written down and forgotten, and other small issues that snowball into lost opportunities and a direct cost to the business. Today, you'll learn how to simplify and automate the organizational part of the sales process for your team, something you and your teammates will be thankful for. In Amo CRM, you can create tasks that your teammates will see and get notifications about, be it a task related to the lead, company, or contact. What's more, all of the tasks can be viewed in a calendar, or better yet, synchronized with an online calendar you're used to. With this, tracking the lead progress will become much easier. Let's see how to work with tasks and calendar in Amo CRM. Tasks can be created in these sections in Amo CRM. Leads, calendar, let's see how it works in each of them. We're going to start with the simplest way to create tasks in the lead card. Just choose task, assign the responsible user, specify its type and text. Boom, the task has appeared. Someone's got a job to do now. You can set up an automation that will create a task automatically. For instance, if a lead appears at a certain stage of the sales pipeline. That way, as soon as a new lead comes through, you can make sure your teammates are instantly reminded to communicate with them or do something else. To do that, let's go to the lead section. Set up, add trigger, and click add a task. There are different time intervals you can choose for this automatic action to trigger at. When created in this stage, when an email is received, when a call is received, when a lead starts chatting for the first time that day. We will choose when created in this stage, in this case. Next up, we can choose the responsible user, the one who will control the entire process and would be notified of the transition of the lead to the new pipeline stage. Here we choose for the current responsible user. Now, select the type of task our teammate will need to complete in order to proceed with the client. Specify the task objective. Clarify the details of the order. You can also apply the trigger to all leads that are already in this stage, so that the task is created for all of them, effective immediately, and then press Done. Now every time a new lead appears in this pipeline stage, a new task will be automatically created for whoever is responsible for this particular client, and they will be notified about it. Let's create a task for a company. The workflow is similar to setting up a task in the lead card. The only difference is where this task will be. This might be useful if you have a number of orders from the same company, for instance. So we enter the lead card. Find the company section. Press on three dots next to the lead's company name and click on Open Details. On the right side, we can see the feed with the history of communication in it. Now we create a task. For tomorrow, 11 a.m., for the current responsible user and select the custom type and it's an email task. Type in the task objective, prepare and send the offer and press set. Done. A task for a contact can be set up in pretty much the same way. On the right of the contact's name, we find three dots and click on open details. We select the task, indicate the date and time interval. Appoint the responsible user, select the type of the task and specify the task objective and set. Pretty simple and straightforward, isn't it? You can also create, edit and complete tasks in the calendar section. Let's take a look at it. In the top left, you can choose how to view tasks, list view or card view. This is the same functionality as you can find in one of your sales pipelines. To-do list is the go-to for displaying all the tasks in the list view. It's convenient for searching for the exact task or for editing tasks quickly. The task board is the mode for displaying tasks for today and tomorrow. It's convenient for planning and tracking tasks for the short term, for example, today and tomorrow. You can also view the agenda in different views, day, week and month. 
The day mode will perfectly suit those who plan their whole working day properly by using short-term tasks and following the schedule to the letter. Week mode is a good choice for both short-term and long-term tasks, and also for those who set up tasks for the whole week ahead. And the month mode is suitable for long-term planning, big goals, milestones and the like. We'll be using the to-do list mode here. Now let's create a task right here, in the calendar section. Click on the new task button, specify the lead or the contact name, due date, assign the responsible user, and type in the task objective. Set. To edit a task, just mark the checkbox in front of the task that you want to fix. Let's replace a call with a meeting. And confirming the changes. Done. You can also edit tasks quickly by moving them to special sections. That way you can change task completion deadlines, complete the task or delete it without too much hassle. To complete a task, simply move it to the complete to do area and specify the result. Done. The task is complete, just like that. Whenever you have too many tasks, you can filter them by parameters such as created, closed, in work, and the time interval, today, past three days, last week, last month, last six months. In order to filter the tasks, go to the calendar section, click on the filter that's located in the center of the screen, choose the required parameters and press apply. Let's filter the tasks for the last week. And so all the tasks for the last week have appeared here, both completed and open. You can also filter the tasks by type, status, completed or overdue tasks, all tasks, that is the tasks for all the users. These tasks are displayed depending on the access rights of the user filtering them. For example, the administrator is able to view all the tasks of all the users. Please note that you cannot save a custom filter here. You can also filter tasks by the author that is the user who has set the task, or by the responsible user, the one responsible for the task completion. By default, each user is able to see only their own tasks. Moreover, you can view the deleted tasks. Please note that this functionality is only available for account administrators. Deleted tasks remain in the system for 30 days. After that, they are permanently deleted. Yep, be careful. To recover a deleted task, you need to go to the calendar section, choose the list mode, click on the filter and choose deleted tasks. Note that this section is available only for the account administrator. It's possible to filter by tasks that are connected to contacts and companies in leads and customers sections by applying the filter for today, tomorrow, this week, month or quarter. And you can filter all the leads with overdue tasks or without any tasks at all. Another thing you'll love is that it's possible to synchronize AMO CRM with Google Calendar. To do it, all you have to do is click on Synchronize in the Calendar section. In the pop-up window, click on Enable. Now we're redirected to the Google Email Selection page. Let's provide access to our account. Allow. Done. All the tasks for the last month appeared in the Google Calendar with all the awesome benefits of that. As soon as we enable synchronization, the separate section called AMO CRM Domain will appear in your Google Calendar. The task synchronization will go through this calendar. It's a two-way synchronization. That means that when changing tasks in AMO CRM, it will automatically synchronize in Google Calendar, and if you update your task in there, the task in AMO CRM will also update, live. In Google Calendar, you can edit the date, title and text of the task. However, you cannot change the task type. You can also connect a task to a lead, contact or company in AMO CRM. For that, you need to specify the required card ID by using the hashtag. To do this, indicate the ID of the required card without a space when creating a task in Google. 
right here in the text field with the help of the hash symbol. The ID can be found in the card link line. There! And now for notifications. In Ammo CRM, there are two options for tasks notifications to happen. You can set up receiving a notification by email. For example, when setting a new task, the responsible user will get a notification email five minutes before the deadline. But do be careful. The notification won't come to the user's email if the responsible user has already read the notification about the task in their Ammo CRM account. That is done to prevent getting swarmed with notifications about the tasks you already know about. The second option for getting notifications is pop-up windows in Ammo CRM. The notification comes to the responsible user when creating a new task if the task has been created by another user. But if the user created a task for themselves, the notification won't appear. It will only appear in the notification center. The notification will also trigger five minutes before the task deadline. The task author also gets a notification about the task completion. You can remove the notifications about the new or overdue tasks from the notification center by simply completing the tasks. And tasks for the new day usually trigger at 9 a.m. by default. When closing the lead with an active task, the system will ask you, would you like to complete all tasks? So you'll have a choice whether to complete the lead's tasks or not. The system will act the same in case of closing the customer card. You'll do yourself a favor by downloading Ammo CRM app and getting tasks notifications on your phone without any synchronization required. You'll be notified about new tasks, task deadlines and their completion. If you don't receive notifications from the app, check the box next to enable notifications in the app settings. In the stats section, you can track the quantity of all the tasks in the account their percentage by type of tasks, or by the responsible user. Here you can use filters by the date of task creation and completion. In the left menu, we can find the employee report. Here you can see tasks by their type and by the number of currently active tasks. You can also see the sale amount from the lead, a nice little bonus to keep the tabs on the process. There is also a consolidated report in the left menu. In this section, you can apply a filter by task completion and task result, and also select the required period and the responsible user. That is not the only place to see the stats though. You can also see task statistics in the leads section. Just scroll up and the task statistics will be displayed on the screen just like that. We can see how many tasks have been set for today, how many leads are without tasks, how many overdue tasks are in the leads section, new tasks for today or yesterday. By clicking on these numbers, you can filter the leads. Take advantage of this, as it's super handy to get a bird's eye view of the current situation. Now, you are equipped and ready to optimize your sales process. Leave nothing behind. Every customer deserves your love and every team member will be thankful that they can give your customers their 100% without worrying about writing things down all the time. That is only one of many ways to boost the sales team efficiency. More to come. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.